I don't like this setup, Jet. Don't like it at all. What is the setup? I don't... God. It is a complicated show. Men are such total idiots. Men are such total idiots. That's the theme. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to watch uh, another uh, Cowboy Bebop episode. Episode 6, Sympathy for the Devil. Well, let's just go right into it. The last one was interesting because it threw some backstory at us. Something about Vicious, which was like his brother or comrade in arms. And him being kind of injured and then helped by some girl who I suspect died because he threw that, they kept emphasizing that throwing the rose into the puddle scene from the very beginning again maybe that was for her or something anyway so I'm looking forward to finding out some more stuff more in-depth stuff I hear this I mean I kind of get the impression from things people told me that this gets kind of you know more involved than just sort of a weekly adventure so I'm in curious to see what happens all right let's do it Three. All right, this is wild already. Oh shit, it's Spike again. Spike's got some serious backstory. Sympathy for the devil. There's only dog food. Oh, she's in here. You're hunting dog. Hunt up some food. We girls are different. We have to be pampered because we're delicate and refined. <laughs> Three million Wulong reward. Well, I'll just have the boys get it for me then. Blue's heart sounds sweet. I knew it would. I thought you liked jazz. Don't be dense. I started wailing the blues when the doctor whacked my bottom on the day I was born. A baby hipster, very cool. No doubt about it. It's giraffe. I'm going in from the right. You take the left side. Lard boy's in the way. That's fatty. Make a move, Jet. The ball's in your court. Yo, hey, fatty! Huh? Fatty River, long time no see. Who would have guessed if it is a Jet Black? Well, well, when the hell did you blow in? How about you? You're looking pretty cheery. I had no you were a fan. Jet Black. I listened to the blues when I was still in my father's sack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Give it back now! Zebra? Hey you! Wake up! Hey! Ah, great. You die and I lose the reward. Don't be fooled by him, by the way he looks. Don't talk! Try to stay alive! He needs help now. Help him. The stone. Uh, wait! Wait. Oh shit. Hmm. I can't be sure until I run all the tests, but this may be worth a hefty sum. So what do you want to do with it? I have no idea. The guy gives it to me on his own, then he dies on his own. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't keep it. There is no reason. You're not responsible for that kid, after all. Give me that. This thing is gonna pay for our food. Our food, not yours. You know, I think your heart's made out of lead. Not like me, I'm a nice guy. I have a gift for you. Yay, all right, what is it? An official invoice? An invoice for what? All the expenses you've racked up since you've been on our ship. And thanks for your business. Yeah, great. Anytime. Why do you want to know about this dead guy? Well, uh, 
So you were after giraffe too. Did you get a good deal? Enjoying the sweets? I always do. There's no bounty in it, you know? Yeah, that's right. There's nothing to gain here at all. Mm. No, I mean it. There's nothing on the line here. Yeah, right, Jet. You're gonna owe me one for today. All right. You know that kid on the blues harp the other day? Name's Wen. Giraffe was after the kid's so-called father, an old friend. He goes by the name Zebra. They were friends? Jeez, you didn't even know that? The two of them were the leaders of the self-defense volunteer squad. They worked together until about 10 years ago. I don't get it. Why was he after an old comrade? Really gotta pay attention. A confrontation with some space raiders. A land dispute. It all came down at some R&D facility near Mars. A few days later, the raiders are wiped out, Zebra's missing, and Giraffe is found blindfolded in a silo. They say Zebra double-crossed him so he could run the squad solo. Later, Zebra turns up in a wheelchair with the kid. Guess it didn't turn out the way he planned. All right. So the bottom line is Giraffe was killed off over some internal politics. Betrayal may come easily to women, but men live by iron codes of honor. You believe that? I'm trying to, real hard. What was Giraffe saying? Like, save him? Was he talking about Zebra, or is he talking about the kid? Tell me, who are you? Just some suspicious guy. What do you want here? Before Giraffe bought the farm, he asked me to come here to help you. Oh, I bet it's the other way around. He said, don't be fooled by the way he looks. I bet he meant the kid. Ask him to help the kid. It doesn't make sense. He's asking him to help Zebra from the kid. Guess he must be pretty famous, huh? Kid's a genius. Plays like an old pro. Hey, wait a minute. This guy isn't Zebra. What's that? Look close. Can't you see the date? What the hell? This was published 30 years ago. How can he have the same face? <laughs> The kid's the bad kid. Save Zebra. You'd better stay out of it. Little twerp like you sticks his neck out too far. He'll get it cut off, understand? Don't give me that crap, kid. Sorry, but I'm not a kid. Yeah, all kids say that. I know what I look like, but I was alive when this place was an outpost, before the asteroids were even settled. Get the picture. Whoa. I didn't really figure it out. They were basically feeding it to us as I was figuring it out. So he was trying to save Zebra from that kid. Yeah, okay, let's find out his story. Back on the Earth pre everyone going out to the asteroids. This is a trip. Is that the sun did that? The hyperspace gate had blown to bits. From that day on, my body completely stopped aging. I can't die. There was always someone discovering me, doing experiments, but they all died and I kept on living. The end for this guy started when his self-defense volunteer squad hit our R&D lab. I needed a new cover, someone to play the part of my parent. Don't, don't be fooled by him, by the way he looks. I think he's the third guy I've used like this. Now, where's the ring? Ring? What ring? <laughs> That's okay. Even if you had it, it'd just be a case of casting pearls before swine. <laughs> So can he not die just because he can't age and die? I mean, could he be shot and killed? What the fuck? Ah, uh, quit complaining, you big klutz. You're lucky you got away with this little scratch on your arm. But we don't have the money to pay for a funeral. I'm sorry. Mm hmm? Huh? <gasps> Shit. This piece of junk. All right. Now, what do you make out of this? A hotel room. He's remembering the time Giraffe got blown away. Get us back now, Zebra! Shit. 
And then what? Come on, what did Giraffe say? I have it now. I can do you in with this. This stone has the power to return time to you. Now hand Zebra over to me! Zebra! When the gate exploded, a coordinate system was created from the resulting twists in hyperspace, a kind of singularity that drew in vast amounts of energy, enclosing and crystallizing them into a single faceted stone, the gem that makes up this ring. The same energy broke wind's circadian rhythm. His pineal body continually produces a substance like melatonin that inhibits aging. Okay. As if get the picture? Yeah, as if. <laughs> I don't either. Which simply means, there's no way to know for sure until we stick the gem into the kid and find out. They put it in that bullet? Anything could happen. It could blow sky high the moment it hits. Kinda makes it interesting. Yes, my dear. I just thought I'd say goodbye, Spike, since I'm sure it's the last time I'll be seeing you. You mean you're finally leaving us? No, I mean you're not coming back. I don't like this setup, Jet. Don't like it at all. What is the setup? I don't... God. It is a complicated show. Men are such total idiots. Men are such total idiots. That's the theme. <laughs> Shit. So it looks like he really can't die. Oh, he didn't know this would happen. Whoa. I see. Yes, I can finally die at last. I feel so heavy, but I feel, I finally feel at ease. Do you understand? I knew that would happen. Do you understand? Do you? <sighs> yeah, I understand. As if. As if. Bang. Wow. That was a cool episode too, man. I really like, I feel like this show's getting better and better. That was wild. Yeah, I did think that when he got killed, he would, when he was aging, that he would be like, I had this vision that his last words were going to be, thank you. Like, finally I can die. Which kind of was like, that. I can finally be at rest. But yeah, that was trippy. And then there was, I, when I edited it, I'll see again, but that scene at the beginning when he's in the bar listening to him play, um, play the harmonica and then there was this sort of flashback to it looked like spike in some lab on a table being messed with with doctors unless that was supposed to refer to the kid although that wouldn't make sense because it was a full like grown body of spike basically spike looking body but it looked like he was on some sort of table being experimented on or something and plus it was like his memory he was kind of like zoning out and woke up from that memory so that looks like a little bit more they added a little more depth to spike that we don't really know about this is getting really intriguing i love everything about the show actually and Faye, like i like how they've been It'll be, yeah, maybe Faye's just Faye, you know, but they, she's a cool character. And she's this funny how they keep her in this foil position. She's like this foil to everyone in the ship. That, like Jet's look kind of nicer to her, but she's really funny. And she, when she ate that, opened the fridge and all there was was dog food and then she ate, gobbled it down, you know, and Jet's like giving her the bill. So, 
I like her. I just like her being around so far, but I'd let, it'd be cool if we got more backstory to her. She's a card shark, I guess we know. And then Jet had that friend that he met. And Jet's last name is Black. Jet's Jet Black. I think that's new. I don't think we knew that. All right, cool. All right, we'll uh, get on. I'm having a hell of a time getting um, Buffy published without copyright and claims on it. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I want to keep doing Buffy. But I'm going to have to like really edit it a lot more sparse or something. But I spent all day yesterday, wasted so much time. I wanted to watch videos and put out, get, you know, get this way farther along than I am because I spent all day like re-editing, uploading, re-editing, uploading, and all that's really time consuming. There's my rant. Another one. Talk to you uh, soon, and thanks, and like, subscribe, comment, and, uh, you know, if you sat with me this far, <laughs> uh, check out my Patreon if you're interested. Three bucks a month, watch full reactions, upload it early. All right, talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.